Miracle Miners presents a video by Johnny. Hey guys, um, yeah, Johnny here. I'm just going to show you something called the bank booth. And just give it a sec while I clear my inventory. Um, just doing a small voiceover and all that jazz. Uh, basically, yeah, this is called the bank booth. Um, it's an XP grinder or can be used as a bank booth, hence the name. But, um, yeah. So anyway, this is the look of it from the outside. Now there's a barrier here to stop mobs from getting up close to you and break these two blocks so you can see pistons and a block of glass. That will all become apparent in a second. Just bear with me, please. Anyway, yeah, so um, it's gonna, I'm going to be able to shoot through that wall where the mobs will hopefully spawn if you can build a good enough mob spawner. Um, basically, when I come in, you'll notice that there are two levers. So I smack one, and I smack the other, and there's glass has come up. That's the glass block you saw a few seconds ago. So you can look out and you see if there's mob there. You also smack it down, open, so you can, you know, fire your arrows out and kill them. And then, um, I don't quite know what I'm doing here, but oh, yeah. <laughs> then I can close that up and back to glass so I can see through again. And then I do that and that, and then it's closed, and I can close it for the night so that nothing bad comes in or anything. So um, I'm just trying to show you a wee bit of how it works from standing back. And here's the redstone. Basically, the one that goes straight forward, that goes to the piston that lifts it up. Now that will get the charge the, the latest. Um, and the one that goes left and right are to the pistons that push the block along. Whichever lever I flick first, um, that that piston on that side will then push first and then be lifted up. Um, it's a very simple thing to do. Um, yeah, you can't see the piston there because there's a, there's a wood block uh, covering that. But yeah, um, quite a simple thing. Um, obviously you can make it slightly simpler, maybe have one lever either way or something like that, but it's pretty simple, pretty plain. Um, but it is very effective. And yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them, so I think it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'll keep that as one hole so that it's just slightly easier for you. Um, and basically, um, you lift that down, and you put that up, and then you pull that down. So it's really a simple concept on what happens. You can just fiddle around with it and stuff, and I get a bit worried here because I think I've broken it, but no, I've just put, reset it back to uh, its starting state that I had before it all started. Um, but yeah, so just want to flip the switch and it's back. Um, so anyway, I'm going to talk a bit about like how this could benefit you, um, and the fact that this thing um, is easy if you've got some mobs on the back. Obviously, they can't get to you, so you can fire through. Um, but of course, there's glass, so you can use that. So if there's a skeleton, you know, can't can't hurt you at all. So yeah, this is the size of it. It's quite small, so it works for built-up areas. And also, um, you could attach a cave on the back and then have a drowning trap. But only have it one block down, so that instead of drowning, they're stuck. So then, all you gotta do, is snipe them with some arrows, their XP and loot falls, and all you're gonna do is just get a collection point and pick it all up and level up, hopefully nice and fast, because if you can do it right, hopefully they'll spawn in the day. Obviously, you don't wanna mess around with the redstone, so I'd say make a little extension on it. Um, and that's about it, yeah, so see you later guys, I'm Johnny, bye bye.